today we're headed to see an awesome apartment. It's in Manhattan, it's in a luxury building, it looks very expensive, and it's owned by a professional chef who we get to meet. But the big question is, what would it be like to live in a place like this in the center of Manhattan seconds from everything? That's what we're gonna go find out. Here we are in Midtown, right next to the Chrysler building. Beautiful. The building's a 10 minute walk, that's not bad. And if you wanna buy the exact same t-shirt I'm wearing right now, you could go in here and try to find one, but the quality's poor and it's not gonna last longer than this summer. It looks like we got a little sandwich shop over here. Across the street from that, we've got coffee and a couple little eats places. The news. This looks like the kind of place I should know what it is. Okay, it's the New York Daily News building. See, you can learn something occasionally from watching my videos. But is that building where these newspapers come from? Oh wow, look at that. The most awful airport in the world is about to get a little bit less awful. That'll never happen. LaGuardia is the worst. And then over here you can get vaccinated. Science wants to cure people more than any disease wants to exist. Unless science was used to create the disease. Now there's two types of people in this world. People from Massachusetts and people who like good bagels. Why are there more people in the Dunkin' Donuts than the local bagel place? Shame on you. Flowers and coffee. If you owe someone an apology, take them here. For a cold brew and this cute little cactus. Then next to that we've got knockout renovation. Does the owner have anger issues? I'm not sure, but this stuff looks expensive. If they offer you payment terms, you better make every payment on time. Then we've got a subway and they want you to know that they are repenting and changing. Big changes. But it looks like they're just talking about the price. I don't see a $5 foot long on there. But over here you can get a $2 espresso. Now next to $2 espresso we've got sushi right here. And next to that we've got this Caribbean vegan place. That looks like a lot of choices. Is Skippy peanut butter vegan? I don't know. And then at the end of the block we've got the United Nations where the world's leaders gather in expensive fashion to accomplish absolutely nothing. Unless you consider complaining, saber rattling, and conspiring to make backroom deals the voters don't know about to be accomplishments. Wow, it looks like they want us all to eat the exact same thing. What will this brave new world be like? This right here is the building. Ooh, I like big windows. This is gonna be fun. But check this out. One block away, there's a farmer's market. Ooh, they got corn on the cob, tomatoes the size of basketballs. Look at all this stuff. You will live for a long time if this is where you get your food. What type of vegetables are these? And check this out, we've also got a local bakery, peach cobbler and apple strudel. I bet that's amazing. I just asked someone, and this is here every Wednesday year round. So if you move into this neighborhood, it's not like this is only here once in a while, you'll survive. I'm here with chef, TV host, and author Priyanka, and this is her place. So right now we've reduced it to 635,000. It started at 650, so that's 15K off. There is a roof deck. It's one more flight up, I promise. I'm not taking you to a dark alley. Okay, well, I do see some light. I've been in some dark places on this YouTube channel. Look at that, that's incredible. Boy, you can really get a good idea of what Midtown is like from up here in a way that you just absolutely can't when you're walking around in it. Also, we've got chairs and seating and stuff up here. That looks like the best seat because of the view. But if you're like me and you don't wanna work on your tan, you probably shouldn't sit there. But definitely, this is pretty sweet. This is the garage right here, right there next to the front entry. There's also laundry in the hallways if you need it. So as I mentioned, Priyanka's an author, this is her book. Book. It's not out yet, but
But if you want to get more information, you can follow her on Instagram. I will put that in the video description. Now we're going to check this place out and see what living here would be like. There's the front door and you've got this awesome long hallway with what looks like a huge closet. Whoa, you're so organized. If my mom heard that, she would be impressed because this is, this is kind of a mess. I love how there's the built-in dresser. That is so useful. You don't have to like clutter this with anything. In fact, it's hard to tell that all that is just right in there. That is super convenient. All the heels I do not wear. Where's the ones that you do wear? There are none that I wear, so that's why they're stashed away here. Then you've got the bathroom, the kitchen, and you walk into the living space. By the way, I love the orange. That just really makes this place pop. And this is a lot of space from the window to the wall, 20 feet, three inches by 13 feet, seven inches. There's a nice big couch, a seriously awesome entertainment center. And check this out. Right here, you've got a dining table. Maybe it'll affect your vision because you're kind of close to the television. But since I wear glasses anyways, I can't imagine that that's a bad place to hang out, get some work done, have dinner. Now the view that we've got here is facing north. What's cool is these kind of curves so you can really see just about everything. Little plants and stuff can go on this ledge. That's cool. So this little nook can also be a reading nook. I just don't read. You don't read, but you have a book coming out. I do. Have yes, you read it? Kind of. <laughs> I hope it's good. Now next to where the entertainment center is, we have the ultimate home office. As a Swede, I love seeing apartments that are like this. Minimalist, organized, and efficient. You've got the bookshelf. This folds out into a bar in case you need a drink while you're getting work done. But what's cool is over here we've got a shrine. Yes, this is my mini temple of Hinduism. This is Ganesh. He's popular. Lakshmi, Ganesh, and Saraswati. I'm gonna be smart by the end of this video. Next to the workstation, we have the sleeping area. If you had your bed turned this way, uh -huh. then you can actually put a thicker curtain and use it as a bedroom divider. Let's take a look at the chef's kitchen. Here we go. When I bought this place, I fully got renovated everything. Did you put in a sink sprayer? <laughs> we did. Nice, look at that. The oven, the range, and the microwave are all Bertazzoni. I hand selected the is your fridge organized? Oh. No <laughs> one saw that. <laughs> that blender looks awesome. It's a stand mixer. <gasps> I'm not qualified to do this tour. Over here, we've got a dishwasher. And I really like these shelves. That is such a good idea. I'm a spicy gal, so I got all my spices. I like how there's no labels on any of this stuff. Because if you're her guest and you come in here and try to outcook her, you'll definitely ruin things. Did you do that on purpose? Yes. Yes. And here we have the bathroom. Ooh, it's big. I like that. Sometimes studios have the smallest bathrooms. And look at all the storage we've got right here. We've got a huge medicine cabinet. I don't look at other people's medicine, but we do look at their bathtubs. And um, this is big. We've also got a big sink. Oh, there's even storage up there. That's nice. The lighting in here is also really good. So getting ready is not going to be an issue. I like the vanity lights. They hide all the blemishes in your skin like they are for me right now. Huge shout out to Priyanka for letting us tour her place. If you've got questions again, all that is in the video description. And then pick another video and I'll see you tomorrow.